Hello and welcome to a little Shut and Speaks video that I've done a couple of in the past and I wanted to kind of do another one here today because it's a topic I've been sort of ruminating around on eh, for a bit now and I've done the most that I can to collate what I'm thinking. So, if you see me cut or look down to said piece of paper, I have my ideas loosely sort of collated, but not hard written down. So, if there's any sort of weird moments or weird cuts, that's why. It's because I'm looking down and I'm just cutting that part out. Now, for the first part, this video will be titled something to the extent of don't make or don't let developers or a company, don't let them make you feel or be unhappy. It, as much control as they have. Why I say this. Now, first point. That, uh, the first point and what sort of started this whole video is that I have noticed a sentiment show up around the internet from various videos or forum posts or, or what have you about, you know, um, say Magic being dead or Hearthstone being awful and miserable, and I've noticed that like pe this happens often. The complaint that people have where X game is awful and uh, this is what it needs to do to be right or better or fixed or what have you. My only problem with that is, one, this happens fairly often. In the case of Magic, I've been playing it off and on for 10, 15 years. And, Ma and Hearthstone for less than that, but a lot of the same problems carry over. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Where every couple of years, say, Standard will be stale, or said format, hi honey, will become awful or miserable, and people will understandably moan and groan. After so many times of it happening, you have to take a moment and acknowledge the sort of cyclical nature that it's going to keep on happening. Now, when you notice this, like I have, it, it sort of freed my mind in that I know it's going to happen, but I, uh, when I first noticed it, I had a bit of a problem of not knowing really what to do, because I felt for some very silly reason, some degree of um, commitment was necessary to a game because I felt like I would miss out or I wouldn't, you know, if I don't get the gold from doing today's dailies or today's quest or in either game, then I'll be really missing out. That was a very unhealthy way to look at it, honestly, and I let material, mainly digital materials, but I let material gains really guide who I was. So my point in this video is don't let a developer make you sad or happy or upset. Understand that they need you. Uh, yeah, you see the little screen, honey. No, 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 no. <laughs> she sees the autofocus on the camera, I apologize. But the original point. Don't let a developer of any game, be it Magic or Hearthstone or developer of whatever size that you like, don't let their actions and their fuck-ups or their lack of ability to do things, don't let that make you miserable. It's just a game. They're supposed to be there to be fun. If you aren't having fun with a thing, don't play it. Don't be afraid to walk away. I've done this with, hell, every game I've ever played, but for the example of Magic and Hearthstone, which is what I do a lot on this channel, there have been plenty of times where I just stop playing. I mean, Magic is a little bit better because I've been playing Historic, and Historic has this problem to a much lesser degree, but the point being in that the times where it is terrible, I'll take a couple months off from the game. The game doesn't owe me, it doesn't make me who I am, it doesn't make me happy or is responsible for my happiness. So, and hell, Hearthstone, I stopped playing it for years. I walked away basically when Arena came out. 
or the beta for Arena came out. I stopped playing for years and only recently got back to it. And I quit because I wasn't having fun. I wasn't letting this game, this basically digital collection of ones and zeros, rule my life and make me genuinely unhappy. Hell, you can see in a lot of videos now that I'll get like really, really, really fucking salty. And I, for the most part, when that happens, in the case of a video, I stop playing for the day. I'll wipe my hands of it, be done, and go play some other game or go make something or go, like you saw, pet one of the cats and just have fun. So don't let them make you miserable. Understand that they need you. That's the whole reason why they have a job and money. And without you and your enjoyment of this, and if they can't cater to that enjoyment, they're fucked. They have no game plan. That's all they want. They care about your eyeballs and your money. And arguably your time, but that's kind of included with eyeballs. So don't be afraid to walk away. Have several games that you like. You should have many things, a couple, you know, a good core, sizable group of things you like as in a general sense anyway, but more importantly, and for the sake of this particular example, having a good sizable chunk of things you like means that if any one of these individual things that constitutes the group gets a little fucky and weird, again, I don't play standard, but we use the example for standard in both Hearthstone and WoW. Standard in this game sucks. Ah, it always sucks. It always gets to this point, which it does. But then I'll go play another format, or an entirely another game. If I want to go play, I don't know, uh, like a another dip into a Fallout game, or like a Hoi 4 game, or something like that. Or insert whatever thing I like. I can do those things because I have this nice little group of things I like. So, I guess the end of this whole rambling point, uh, in a TLDR of sorts, and is... Don't let them make you ha don't let them make you unhappy. Your happiness is yours. Don't let other people ruin this thing that you like, this art medium that we all really enjoy. Hell, I know I enjoy it, and I really believe it's the best art medium humanity has ever made by a wide margin. But my love for the art medium doesn't mean any more. Again, again, it wasn't always like this, that these people will control my happiness. And if they are fucking up a game that when the game is fucked up, I'm fucked up. Don't let that get into your head. Go play a different game and be afraid. don't be afraid to walk away. But you do have to have the stones or the resolve, basically, to call, you know, to call the bluff. To walk away when you gotta walk. Because I've also noticed in both of these games, and really in loads of gaming spheres, or any really, I guess, human being to corporate relationship, you can say whatever you want, but if you aren't willing to like walk when you gotta walk, and sometimes take an L for a principle, if you aren't willing to do that, do that then they've kind of got you. So stick up for yourself. Don't let people, or companies, or developers, or things you like, don't let their fuck-ups affect your happiness and remember to always have the stones to walk away when you gotta walk now with that out of the way don't forget to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you would like to see my grab bag of content and might like to see more in the future and stay safe and warm and happy holidays i suppose Bye bye